In this session, we'll take a quick tour of a SharePoint site, its different features, and how they work together. As you arrive on the site, you're going to be prompted for a username and password. Once you've been added to the Active Directory, you'll receive this information from your administrator via email. And you'll go ahead and type that information in, and then you can choose to remember the password, and then click OK. Once you do, you'll have access to the site, and at the very top right, you'll notice your login information. By clicking this, you have the ability to change information about your settings. You can sign in as a different user or sign out, or even personalize the page. Beyond that, you've got a top link bar. And as we add sites or subsites, as we discussed in the overview, to the intranet, we have the ability to choose whether we want those uh, areas to show up as tabs on the top link bar. In the left-hand side of the page, we have our left-hand navigation. And this is quick links to corporate images, shared documents, and the different lists and discussions and surveys that might exist within SharePoint. In the main body of the page, this is made up of web parts or lists and libraries that we've created on our intranet. An announcements web part, a calendar web part, a links web part, and even an image web part, which we've already customized with our company logo. Let's take a look at shared documents. In our document library, team members are able to add new or upload documents just by clicking these buttons. Inside the library, besides the uh, type of document it is and the name, we also have different metadata columns, date modified, and who modified it. And by each of these top header bars here, we're able to hover over those, click the little drop down menu, and we can sort on those or actually filter that information by coming down and just choosing to see documents uh, modified by one user. You also have the ability to check out a document. Simply hover over the document, click the drop down menu, and come down to check out. This will give you the ability to hide that, in that document, or that information, while you're editing it. And you'll see the icon has a little green arrow. And if you hover it over it, you'll be able to see who the document's checked out to. You can also, as you check it in, add comments. And this information, let's take a look at managing knowledge, is stored in the version history. So as new documents are added and then edited, the older versions are stored behind the scenes. So the version most recently viewed and edited is the one that all users will see. Administrators can come in and restore or purge previous versions. To restore a previous version, just hover over the item and click Restore. To navigate throughout the website, you also have a breadcrumb trail that follows you throughout the site. Right now, we're on the version history of managing documents inside the, doc the shared documents library on our intranet. So by clicking back to shared documents, that gives me a quick and easy way to go right back to my document library. I can also stay updated and informed by my information that's, that's happening in the document library by clicking on my Actions tab and choosing RSS feeds or Alert Me and actually receive notifications when a new item is updated or an existing item is changed. We'll go into more in alerts in a future session. Some documents may be more sensitive than others and you have the ability to hover over the document name, click the drop down menu, and click Manage Permissions to set permissions on who can see that specific document within the document library. Another new feature is the recycle bin. And just like on the computer that you're using or laptop, if a document is uh, deleted that needs to be restored, you can click into the recycle bin, check the document that you would like to restore, and click Restore Selection. To stay updated on what's happening within the intranet and within the company, we can use the calendar. By clicking on the calendar link, it takes you to a month view or a 30-day view of the calendar. And you can use the left-hand top area, navigation, to sort by month and actually see information on the calendar. Clicking into those items would give you a more information and an overview or display view of the calendar event. As the site grows, you'll also need a convenient way to find information. And as you navigate throughout the site, this search bar is located and stays with you throughout the site. Simply type in the keyword and you can find information from documents, document libraries, links list, announcements, 
people profiles, employee directories, and you have the ability to search the entire site or a specific list that you're on. Well, that concludes our quick tour of SharePoint. In future sessions, we'll be taking a more detailed look at each of these features and some more.